up good morning everybody uh last night played good husband uh found a way to watch bachelor in paradise and in addition to that in addition to that we got through dancing with the stars okay so another show this is the thing you know those are a couple shows i would not watch if it wasn't for you know my wife hey what's up buddy what are you doing are you trying to kiss me already good morning say hi to the people what's up say hi anyway you're trying to eat my face stop it Okay. Oh, uh, would you stop? Okay, so today is going to be like a quasi day off. Right, buddy? What do you want now? All right. Today's going to be like a quasi day off. Uh, I'm going to go in very late. Kind of nice, actually. I might even, for the first time since the series started, do a little bit of exercise. I'm thinking maybe just do like kind of a very light and easy full body workout. Nothing crazy. Just to get the blood flow a little bit. Uh, today's events are not like high on my priority list either one the 3k no limit which started i don't know like an hour or two ago and then you got the 1500 dollars stud tomorrow is the 10k limit hold'em championship right so uh yeah neither of the two today are like that big of a deal plus learning from the 1500 that i played yesterday the limit hold'em i think the 1500 dollars structures for limit if you want a ton of play you're gonna get it i feel like though for my goals there's way too much early on for me. So what I get to do then from now on is if I'm going to play these $1,500 mixed game events, I can max late reg. Not even like four, six hours. Max late reg and you show up with like 12 and a half big bets or something, which is a lot, right, for a small event. Like 12 and a half is plenty and you're deep. So, so yeah, let's go. I'm just going to chill on the computer for a bit, watch the vlog check out some hockey stuff, read my stats and all that stuff, play my chess moves. And uh, like I said, it's about, what, 12 now. Uh, I think the best play, I think the best play is, because uh, there's a dinner break at 5.40 in the 11 a.m. So I thought about it. I'm like, what's the point in going at like 4.30 or so to just go on break, right? So I think what I'll do is I'll max late reg that one at 6.55. So we'll leave here around 6, 6.15. I don't even know if we'll get pulled from YouTube for this, but this is my wife's version of art. Mm. She likes this. That's legal, right? Why would you get pulled for half They wouldn't get pulled on that, right? Mm -mm. I'm coming your way. Okay. Chocolate croissant for my love this morning, and she's doing her homework. Don't. Sh I'm not going to show your email. <laughs> Got to be okay. careful. Yeah, I'll put it on. This is the bedroom. Put it on That's, CNN. That picture over there, that was wedding day. Mm -hmm. And this is... Uh, it's like the dirtiest bedroom ever. I can't believe you're showing what, I'm showing up. So oh, nobody sees the okay. ground. Good, good, good. And the back of your head. Okay. Right? Because I know. I, I've learned the rules now. <laughs> I just woke up. Can't do it. I got it. I feel, I, feel, I feel you. I feel you, girl. I feel you. All right. My wife is trying to show me this cool little wing, ring light. Look at this. Look at my eyes. And she says, do it without your glasses. Take your glasses off. Okay, but, uh, then I can't see. You can't see to talk? I can see, but Wait. I mean, what the hell? Like, <laughs> Does this make me look much better with the light? Yeah. Because see, my wife, she knows. Like, she's thinking, like, all right, you can film me later. I got to get the lighting, the ring light, well, put just the face little, cream. Tiny ring light. Like, the little tiny ring light. And look at wants, my eyes. He wants to film me, like, right when I wake up with bags under my eyes. This thing, she don't have, this is the thing. Like, I, she's like, I got to put cream in my face because it's dry. And I yeah. think to myself, you think that shows up on camera? And she <laughs> yeah. does. She's because she watches Bachelor and they all have perfect stuff. See? You know? Now, so let's see what's the difference is when I take this off. Oh, I still look pretty. You think? Except I don't have weird things in my eyes. You think you look pretty yeah. still? I, I am pretty. God, you're so narcissistic. I know. <laughs> what do you, I'm going to film you. I don't give a no. shit. No. All right, fine. You Whatever. can film my back. Film, film your back. Mm. There she is. All right. Ooh, almost got you naked. You you're wearing, naked. Hold on. Oh, you're wearing clothes. Okay, cool. So listen, we're just chilling right now. I'm waiting because what's going on at the Rio is kind of a shit show right now. Um, they're having some issues with the Bravo app which means people can't sign up for events and there's delays, which isn't a bad thing for me because I kind of wanted a day off. And the delay just means uh, I can, you know, get, go there even later. But that's what we're on. We're on, we're on call right now. We're waiting to see. I'm just going to keep monitoring Twitter. What? I want you to taste this. I'm not drinking on that. On camera. I'm not drinking that. A sip? She fucking forces me to Look, do the most awful things. This is my southern beverage. 
sun drop. It's just <laughs> disgusting. I've tasted it once. It's cherry. You haven't tasted this one. Okay, fine. Oh my oh god, my yes. God. She's like, yes. she's impressed that I'll drink yes. this now because yes. I don't usually do shit like this Ready? for her. All okay. sugar. Is it going to be that good? Mm -hmm. All sugar. Yeah, come on. Okay. I'll, I'll pretend I like it. Come, come on. on. It's not vegan. Oh my I'm god, I need kidding. to brush my teeth <laughs> I'm kidding. right now. It's fucking crazy. No. I feel sugar all over my teeth. Blech. She's a bad influence on me, man, but I'm not falling for it. No sun drops for me, y'all. What do you what did you just say? What did you just say? You wanna watch Squid Game. Why? Why did you say that? Because it's fun. But then what did you say la after that? Koreans are your favorite group of people. Why do you think that? I don't know. <laughs> I like Koreans, but it's you know. <laughs> your first wife. I watched if she was Korean. That is true. True story. Such a bad conversation. I know. I'm moving on. Yeah, get, get on. Okay. I'm moving on because y'all, I've been talking about the gym and something I haven't been doing at all. Uh, but I wanted to give you a little look at what we got here at the house, what I turned this into. We got a little bench here. This is for deadlifts and some shoulder presses, different things. We've got a weight rack there. That's the golf room over there. I could show you another time. But uh, when COVID happened, we got this big monstrosity, which is great. This is the bench here with some spider curls. In there, you got a whole bunch of hockey jerseys. I mean, you name it, I got it, bro. Right? That's where I keep all the hockey jerseys. And then here we got a treadmill. Here we got a rower. Here we got an elliptical over there, one of them Roman chairs. And then this beast right here, this is the piece de resistance. It has like, I think eight pulleys. It's got a uh, Smith bar right here, which moves obviously, you know. And then uh, you got the overhead for wide, wide grip pull downs the whole spiel. So I'm going to try to do a little something, you know, nothing crazy because I'm just really out of shape right now, but I'm going to do a little itty bitty routine of some kind. So I thought that we were going to work out right now, but instead I had a salad and I want you to show you the shirt. It's I wore it last year. They know. You, did you really? Yeah, man. Last year. We didn't do this or the, last year. The year before. Huh? Okay. The year before. What are you doing? Puppy's trying to make oh. it. Oh. Cute baby little buggers. What are you into? So you, oh. <laughs> he's trying to get you right in the mouth. <laughs> right in the mouth. I'm just hanging out with you. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to work out because fuck that. Whatever. We'll wait till the series is over. Want to watch Squid Game? Do I want to watch? What's with you in this Squid Game? It's nonstop. I know. You're obsessed. Do you want to watch? <laughs> Maybe we'll see. No. Run around <laughs> you love um, games. You should love this. Lines. Are only allowed to hop on one foot. <laughs> this is it, huh? That's it. This is insane. All right, it is 6.07 in the PM. Yours truly did not, I repeat, did not work out. Just exhausted, took it a little nap instead. I'm good with it, I'm not too worried about it. I'm like a highly motivated individual. So like getting back into primo shape will not be a problem once the World Series poker is over. It's just not the focus right now. I will say this, I'm quite proud of myself for sticking to my guns and doing what I think is best for me in terms of late regging this one. We're gonna jump into the 3K uh, as, they end, they, as they finish up with dinner break. We will have 20 big blinds to start, plenty of chips, uh, and then they will play, uh, I think, well, it's 40 minute levels. So we'll play like eight levels, uh, you know, if, if that goes well, and if not, the $1,500 stud, which had a later start, allows registration until, would be 9.45, I guess 10.45 now. So we've got a lot of wiggle room in between to be able to potentially play. But I don't two table, guys. I'm not jumping from like one seat to the other. I just, once I play a tournament, that's it. Unless it's online and then I'll, you know, have the laptop with me or I'm sorry, the iPad with me and whatnot. But otherwise I stick to one at a time. Um, I haven't dug two tabled in, I can't remember how long. So. That's the plan. Head in. Got trusty coffee, second of the day, uh, and we're gonna do our best. Like I said, I don't really give a shit. I mean, I'm wearing the, I'm wearing my cool T-shirts, of course. Fear does not exist in this dojo. ContendersClothing.com. But I'm wearing these like ridiculous track pants with shoes that don't make sense. I don't care, man. It's the World Series of Poker. I'm not trying to freaking impress people with how I look. I'm trying to win, grind. I'll have the hoodie. I'll have the GG patches, which I like anyway, because GG poker is the nuts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Anyway enough let's go all right so we just got to the trailer look at this all the way from canada all the way with from love canada. kev martin what's up dean eggs i'm doing? watching the vlog every day you're on the daily vlogs yeah, it's good. good what is that you know 
it's happiness. What it's is it joy. though? No, there's something. You're doing the your wife. The wife buys mine. Yeah, perfume, it's good. So, yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's so good. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm down here in Vegas, and and everyone's hyped, and it's exciting, and you know. Are you I, in the three K? In the three K. Yeah. See you there. Call it too. You know? My man came prepared and ripped. Good luck, yeah. Buddy. You too, mud. <laughs> Look at that, Kevin Martin. You know him from Twitch, yo. All right, as we head in to play the uh, 3K No Limit, one, just word of honesty here, we are gonna play, we're gonna lean towards high variance in spots, right? So we're gonna make correct plays, but we're gonna take high variance lines rather than low. So for example, you know, cut off raise with a button with queen jack of spades, um, which is a totally fine jam, it's a totally fine flat. You can do either, neither is a mistake per se, right? We're gonna lead towards the jam. We're gonna be pushing the envelope because we have a backup with stud. That doesn't mean we're gonna play poorly or that those of you that bought a piece are like, oh, I'm just punting your money, but we are gonna take a chance. Hey, Mark. I'm just telling everybody, don't worry, I'm playing high variance poker. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. Okay, let's do this. Right, this is our first 11 a.m. event. It's gonna be our first time in a different room. We're gonna be playing in the Brasilia. A little bit further from the trailer, but that's fine. We got 15 minute breaks. I got good speed in my legs. I can motor, so we're good to go. Just about to register. Okay, very important when you play No Limit Hold'em, you have to find the fish table. Oh my God. I found the fish table with Kitty. <laughs> How kitty, you have so many chips. Oh, you have to look pretty now? <laughs> hey, Maria's here. Huh? What? Give me a hug. Okay, a hug we can do. Hey! <laughs> Good to see you. Look at that, that's Kitty Quo. Best Twitter ever. I just moved the camera around. Oops. Number one, and that's our stack, which is all the way in the middle. It's up to these gentlemen around the table, and ladies, of course. Right, 2021, gotta make sure. And let's take a look at this hand. Did we have it? Yes, absolutely. That's that's it at this stage. All right, all in. Win. All in again with the same hand I was last time. I have aces too. You have aces also? Yeah, me too. Not me too. Chop yeah. it up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, he's ace king suited. That's fair. That's a good call. I have ace jack, so we need a jack. We'll run to the stud. Okay, I don't see a jack yet. Okay, a six or a three is just fine. King. Okay, such is life. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Well, we hung around for a while with that 40k, about an hour, hour and a half. Picked up an ace king earlier, nobody called. This spot, uh, as I said, we're going to take a little more high variance line. So we just open jammed with the ace jack. Totally fine play off of, uh, what did we have? 40k, a 2500 big blind. So that's like, you know, 17 bigs or something like that. So again, that's not something I would probably do um, in a high roller or something like that. But uh, totally, it's like totally fine, right? And that's what we said we would do. We would try to uh, win some chips. We did not win the all-in once again. I'm keeping track, by the way, of how we're doing in all-ins when our tournament life's on the line. And I'll reveal that for you once I tabulate. But it's not been good. <laughs> we did get it in bad there, but such is life. All right, seven-card stud it is. I'm going to have a little bit of uh, some of that mushroom truffle pasta first. And then we'll uh, play the seven-card variation. Bon appétit. This is the wild mushroom truffle pasta from Sakara. Yummy, yummy. We got the game on over here. Sweating my uh, young, uh, young, young buck here. I picked up Mason McDavish. I got Jamie Drasdale on my team. I got Ricard Raquel. I got Silverberg. I'm all over the Ducks this year. I know they're gonna suck. My fantasy team will not. And that's what we're gonna do for the next little bit. Chow down. All right, Alan, what is bothering you today? This paltry chip stack right here. Okay, that's, that's the, the whole stack? Level one. I've lost with uh, aces up, trips, whatever you want to call us, anything. That that so that's what's bothering you today, luck. Yeah. All right, we checked in, it's official. I'll see you in a minute. Seven card stud. Seven card stud, sorry, oh, and I know this guy too. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we know them all. Look at this hand here. Open jacks, whatever that guy's got. Here's the pot, here's the river. Jack, 
Three jacks, three threes. One, another one for Barry. Okay, so we put in an hour. And I got, you know, good news, bad news, right? Let's start with the bad. So the bad is, in that one hour, I did not win a single pot. <laughs> I did not steal an Annie. I didn't win a drag a chip. The good news is, I only played one hand to the river. So I still have, like, 12,000 chips from my 25. Um, the hand was kind of brutal. I had, uh, so I had a pair of sevens, a gut shot a flush draw against what looked like probably a pair of aces. So I'm actually in really good shape against that. And uh, then on the end, I catch a nothing across, which means it's either, when you look at the cards, right? This is what we do. That's freaking like guys like the mental masturbation. Am I going the wrong way? I am too. I'm going the wrong way, like a dummy. Um, so when you look at the side of the card, you see no pips on it. It means it's an ace, deuce, or a three. So an ace, Wins me nothing. A deuce or a three, I make two pair, I would have won the pot. It was an ace, such is life. And I did go the wrong way. I went to the other dam. All right, we're going to, I went to where the trailers used to be. All right, I'll get it right. Anyways, quick break, have myself a hot tea. We'll jump back in, try to run it up. Fall in, seven card stud. He's got open fives, that's usually a problem. I've got, uh, he's got three of them. We've got mm. outs, so we need him to not fill up. We need to make a straight. Queens and sevens are live. There's a seven, it's a diamond too. So I could make the straight flush. That'd be all right. Okay, king of diamonds. Let me know if I need to look. Well, it doesn't matter. I do not have a straight flush. All right, winner. Take it. Last time we played, we made a flush, queen high. He made a better flush on the end. So now we're going to try to make a flush again with the four, seven, eight of clubs. And he's got just a pair of queens. That's fine. Fair fight. Okay, we're all in for like peanuts. There's eights. All right, eights against queens. We got straight draws now, okay? Still two pair live. All right, three eights. Hey, <laughs> all right. I can beat this guy, he's the only one, but I'm on his fantasy team, so that's why he's letting me win. Okay, another double off another of Peanut. success. Anyways, Peanut is all in, that's me. We got a bet from that hand, call from that hand, down and dirty. Okay, so he has a flush, which means no matter what I catch, he wins the pot. That's good to hear. So let's see what the river is. Maybe, you know, the. oh no, it's not, it's not me, it's a three. Okay, flush is good. We out, peace. <laughs> All right, people, another day in the books. We done, not too stressed about it, honestly. Like I said, you know, we late reg for both of the events. In those cases, you know, you have to run pretty good. We did not, although, you know, I did win two all-ins out of three with my tournament life on the line, but the key one was the one hand hand before. After I doubled, I had a flush on six street. Um, I had three, four, five, six, nine on five, and then I made the flush on six, and my opponent was drawing to a flush on the river, so if he doesn't catch a spade, I win, and he did catch a spade, and oddly, I bet the river for value, and he just called me. <laughs> he saved me my last 2K, so that's how we got, uh, you know, in that spot there. So here's the thing, guys. I'm not disappointed at all. Very early in the World Series of Poker, Lots of really big, great events. I'm going to focus, as I said, on the big ones. Tomorrow is one. Tomorrow is a 10K limit hold'em. Um, and I'm really going to just be there right on time, 3 p.m. If you want a piece of that action, you can find me on Pocket Fives. If you go to Pocket Fives, right after this vlog, right around then, I try to release it. And we'll release 25% to you people. We'll keep the limit kind of low so a lot of you guys get a chance to buy a piece. But... Uh, yeah, another day at the World Series of Poker, guys. Feeling okay? Really? Feeling good? Not frustrated? Nope. It was a weird day, like, or a weird little bit of a rough patch in terms of, like, not winning a lot of hands. But we will. Don't you worry. Early in the ride. Peace.